Hi, my name is Tom Hamlin. This presentation describes how to streamline your job search using the Indeed job search engine. The tips here should make your job search easier and more productive. If you're not already familiar with Indeed, it's www.indeed.com. And it's a great job search engine consolidator. That is, it pulls jobs from thousands of company sites and from the major job boards. So rather than having to go individually to Monster and then Career Builder and then to Dice and so forth, the jobs from all those boards are brought into Indeed. It's really a nice one-stop shop. So here's the opening screen for Indeed. I've typed curriculum into the what field and 01720 into the where field. You could put your zip code or city and state. Note that there are 839,000 jobs. These are new jobs in the last seven days being displayed here. This is a very powerful site. Let's go to Find Jobs, and we scroll over a little bit. We see we have 1,145 jobs. The list is a little long. Let's use a, the Advanced Job Search link, and we'll see. So what Indeed has done is put the word Curriculum in as a general keyword for the search. The problem is that any job description that includes the word curriculum will be displayed in the resulting list. By moving the word up to the title, we can ensure that only jobs where curriculum is part of the title will be displayed. In a place where I think it's not quite as appropriate as being in the title, so I'm going to cut Control X and paste Control V curriculum into the title field and press the Find key and see what we get. So we've narrowed the list down to 27 jobs. Let's go back to the Advanced Search link and try a couple of other parameters. For location, I don't mind traveling a little more, so I'll go 50 miles. Uh, but rather than jobs that were posted at any time, let's go to Newer Jobs. Uh, 15 days, 7, 3. Let's go to 15 days. Give us a good list. For salary, I'll put in 50K, but use whatever number works for you. Find, find jobs. So now we have 11 jobs. I think it's a much better list. We've narrowed things down a lot, uh, and we've found jobs uh, that fit our specifications. One other tip. Notice that the first job is manager of training. Here's a nice, nice tip. You can put a negative operator that is dash, in this case manager, because I don't want to see manager jobs if that's in the title of the position and scroll down to find jobs again. So the manager job no longer appears. We've eliminated that term from the title. So these are some of the ways to improve the efficiency of your job search. Uh, experiment yourself and find ways to continue to tune and refine the search so that the engine works most efficiently for you. Now let's take a look at another option. This is the more option and as we'll see in a minute it allows you to view all the jobs at the company, to see the salaries for the job, also to find contacts at LinkedIn or Facebook for networking, and to research the company via Google. So below each job description, there's a link called More. And if we click on the link, we'll see that there are several other links that provide more information. Uh, it's a nice way to get more information about either the job, the company, and so forth. We could view all the jobs from Pegasystems. We could look at the salary for this job. Let's take a look at the salary. And we can see that curriculum developer jobs in Cambridge, Massachusetts are estimated to pay $80,000. And there are other options. You could find more information about Pegasystems or forums about Pegasystems or, in this case, Cambridge, Massachusetts. You can research the company on Google or Bing, find contacts on Facebook or LinkedIn, look at a map of Cambridge, Mass., or create a permanent link to this job. And here are some more resources that are very valuable and you should take a look if you haven't already. LinkedIn.com, it's a social networking site for professionals, very good way to do networking. Reference USA is a database of companies. You can use it to find target companies based on your location, your industry, and so forth. It's available through local libraries. Hoovers.com is available directly. You can get brief information about a company for example, headcount, revenue, brief description. OneSource is another very comprehensive database, but not as easy to find. 
It might be available through your library or perhaps through your place of employment or your school. I hope these tips have been helpful. Thanks for listening, and good luck with your job search. Again, my name is Tom Hamlin. I'm available at tom at thomashamlin.net.